Each season on snow tracks, we test the latest and greatest sleds from the big four manufacturers. But we do realize that not everybody rides the latest iron, and that there's a lot of really good snowmobiles out there that are just a little bit older, and they still deliver great ride and handling, but they might require a little updating from time to time. One of the most popular sleds from the late 90s to the early 2000s would have to be the Skidoo ZX platform. I raced these in the glory days and have nothing but great memories. These sleds are exceptionally nimble and feature near perfect suspension for their day. Finding a low mile used one is a very hard thing to do as many are up and over 10 to 15,000 miles. When you hit these kind of numbers, replacing parts is inevitable. And while tracks, carbides, ball joints, and various other parts are the norm, a lot of the times what's underneath the hood gets overlooked. In particular, the exhaust system. A manufacturer's stock exhaust is designed to be quiet and retain a certain amount of heat to help burn off excess emissions. However, over time, these parts wear out. You may not see it from the outside, but the inside of an exhaust canister becomes burned out. The head pipe on a two-stroke is very important, but generally doesn't require replacement. The muffler or canister, on the other hand, does, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Stock exhaust canisters are packed with fiberglass packing to help keep sound emissions low, but after years of riding, the packing will burn out and the exhaust will become much louder. While some areas do not allow exhaust modifications of any kind, there are many that do, and replacing your exhaust can with a new aftermarket system can net you impressive improvement. This direct replacement canister is made by MBRP. It's smaller, it's lighter, it makes the sled sound crisper, and it enhances the performance. MBRP is a performance exhaust manufacturer and have applications for almost every sled you can imagine right back to the 90s. Their product is designed and built by motorsports enthusiasts and are not just noisemakers. Thanks to the clamshell design of older sleds, the process is very simple, and at the end, we have a much cleaner underhood engine compartment and a sled that's probably close to 10 pounds lighter. In an industry that's focused on removing excess weight, this is a great way to update your old sled and shed some pounds. As I stated earlier, MBRP's canisters are direct bolt-ons. No modifications, no monkeying around. And in most cases, reinstallation of the new can is much easier thanks to the smaller size and reduced weight. Before I head out on the trail, I want to install a set of MBRP shock covers as well. On older sleds, the shock shafts have seen a lot of abuse, so any extra protection from pitting will help. However, installing covers like these from day one will net you much better shock life in the long run. Performance gains are always what people install an exhaust canister for, and our 600 carb Rotax will no doubt enjoy a much freer flowing exhaust with way fewer restrictions. Actual numbers are hard to pinpoint as each motor is different and would need to be dynoed to track the exact horsepower advantage. I found the most noticeable improvement was through the mid-range where the two-stroke motor really feels, well, pipey, and the power from this 600 felt far more crisp and responsive. After installing the can, the sound coming from this sled is way more pleasing to the ear. The motor is way happier and from about 4500 RPM on is where I noticed the most gain. Was top end speed increased? Possibly a little, but it was the response through the turns and acceleration out of corners that truly delivered the most noticeable improvement. And while the exhaust note was not much louder than the stock burned out canister, it was far more pleasing to the ear. While there are lots of updates that you can do to your old sled, most won't net you any kind of performance advantage over your stock setup. But installing an MBRP exhaust canister will give you a reduction in weight and increase in performance, and in my books, there's just no downside to that equation.